another bathroom to do here this is gonna, uh, all gonna be the walls and the floor is gonna be three by six um, marble subway tile uh, with a kind of a satin finish so I already waterproof the walls which is a necessity not an option um, and then uh, I've started on this side wall because uh, what I'm gonna do here is I started with a full tile in the corner go around to the next corner do the back wall and uh, do the side wall and the reason I'm doing that is because I am folding the corners in other words the um, you cut the tile into the corner and the piece that falls off you save that and you start the row on the next wall with that piece that came off the tile you just cut that way what you have is because these are all different shaded tiles um, you have looks like the corner has been folded uh, so you get the same shade on the tiles as they go around the corner so um, because of the different shades <coughs> if you cut a tile toss that piece and then use another tile it's not going to be uh, exactly the same shade as the um, tile that you originally cut so uh, and then because it's subway and it's a running bone joint you um, want that uh, corner to look as if uh, it goes around the corner uh, and that the um, it so looks like it's folded uh, in other words uh, the three by six continues around the corner if you were to put the two pieces that go into the corner together uh, they would still be a three by six tile and um, then on the floor here uh, as usual I'm installing uh, Schluter Dietra and before you um, spread the thin set which is going to be a polymer modified thin set you're going to um, dampen the floor and then after you dampen the floor then you can go ahead and spread your thin set with the back side of the trowel so you key the thin set into the plywood then you flip your trowel around and use the notch side of the trowel and then you can roll out your um, uh, Dietra and press it into the thin set and the cover and you want to get the kind of coverage that you saw under that roll there and then once that's all done uh, you can start laying your tile and on top of the Dietra uh, you're going to use an unmodified thin set and uh, Dietra has its limitations uh, the smallest size tile that you can use on Schluter Dietra is 2 inch by 2 inch anything smaller than that um, you can't you have to use some other kind of underlayment you can't use the Dietra so that's the limitation on Dietra uh, as far as tile size now this marble tile is very porous so before uh, you grout it it needs to be sealed and on the floor we got the same uh, pattern as on the walls a subway three by six running bond uh, so the whole the walls and the floor are same material um, and uh, uh, so it's just really there's no borders there's no no nothing just a couple of shelves in <coughs> in one corner um, so so you just continue on and you um, uh, keep on laying your tile uh, these have got very narrow grout, grout lines as I said with the 16th of an inch grout line that's what those blue horse shoe, shoe spaces are they are 16th of an inch and you want to make sure that as you're going along that when you look down the um, along the walls all the joints are in a straight line so that um, as you skip from tile to tile they don't look like they're moving back and forth so everything looks like it's straight and uh, as I said before it gets grouted it needs to be sealed because um, this tile is very porous and what happens too uh, once you start to grout these um, tiles because the tiles are so porous the marble start to um, absorb the moist moisture from the grout and you will get a kind of picture frame effect as you as the um, grout dries and the um, marble absorbs the moisture and you'll see that uh, uh, here as you can see um, the 
edges of the tile look like they're darker than the uh, inner part of the tile. That's because it's absorbing the moisture from the grout and, uh, the and it gets darker. Now as uh, in a few days that will all clear up and the tile will all be uh, an even color. So uh, what happens if you don't seal the tile before you grout it, um, sometimes it can be very difficult to get the grout, grout haze off. And um, this is uh, unsanded grout because the uh, joints, the grout joints are so narrow. Um, but that's basically, you know, some basic um, things you need to consider when you are uh, installing a marble subway tile. Uh, so, as I said, that'll clear up all that um, picture framing will clear up as um, the days go, go by and it'll all be nice and even.